Danny Uvenko. Hi, is Danny there? Yes, that's me. Hi, Danny. Hi, it's my name's Jeff. I'm calling you from Canada. Hello. Hi, I was just wondering, uh, real quickly, I know you had commented on a World Trade Center Building 7 before. Yes, that's right. And uh, I've come to my conclusions, too, that it, it, it couldn't have came down by fire. No, it absolutely not. Uh, are you still sticking by your comments where you say it must, it, it must have been a controlled demolition? Absolutely. Yes? And do you, so you, you, as being a controlled demolitions expert, You've looked at the building, you've looked at the video, and you've determined with your expertise that... I looked at the drawing, the construction, and it couldn't uh, be done by fire. No, oh, no, absolutely not. Okay, because I was reading on the Internet, uh, people were asking about you, and they said, I wonder, I heard something that Danny Joenko retracted his statement that, uh, of what he said earlier about World Trade Center 7, now saying that it came down by fire. And I said, there's no way that's true. No, 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 absolutely not. Because if anybody was real, like if anybody, like when I've called controlled demolitions here in North America, yes. they tell me that, oh, it's possible it came down from fire and this and that and stuff like that. Listen, it, it, when the FEMA makes a report that it came down by fire and you have to earn your money in the States as a controlled demolition company, and you say, no, it, it, it was a controlled demolition, you, you're, you're gone, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You'll be in a lot of trouble if you say that, right? Of course, of course. That's the end of your, your, the end of the story. Yeah, because I, I was, I was calling uh, demolitions companies just to ask them if they use the term "pull it" in demolition terms, and even Controlled Demolitions Incorporated said they did. But the other people wouldn't, didn't want to talk to me about Building Seven really, because obviously, because they knew what happened and they didn't want to say it, right? Exactly. Okay, I'm very sorry for bothering you, and thank you very much for your time, sir.